As the cliche goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And in the three years since Billy last lavished some TLC on its uh, unicorn range, it's gone on to become the best-selling premium caravan in the UK. In fact, it's the best-selling Billy in its entire range. For 2018, they have gone and fixed it. And what a job they've done as well. It's all new look and some really cool new stuff inside. Let's see what it's all about. It really doesn't seem that long ago that we were all talking about Bailey's brand new Alutech system of constructing caravans. Well, it's actually been around long enough now for more than 50,000 Bailey vehicles, caravans and motorhomes to be built that way. And in a nutshell, it basically means it's an almost timber-free construction process that uses interlocking aluminium extrusion. So there's uh, fewer opportunities for uh, water to get in, makes the caravan lighter and potentially stronger as well. And it's all been very well put together in this example. If you arrive on site and find that the weather's not really fitting in with your uh, holiday plans, It'll be no hardship for you to spend some time in the caravan because the new Unicorn really is a, a lovely place to be. The lounge is exceptional, very comfy for four people, four good corners to lounge into. And I like that they've used individual backrest cushions rather than uh, one big long one. It just makes it look a bit more homely. And the new colour scheme all works very well together. And there's uh, plenty of practicality to go with all the glamour as well. There's lots of storage space, especially for two people, although it's a four bath nominally. So as well as the big deep wardrobe in the washroom, you've got plenty of storage space under the single beds in the bedroom and these sofas here. And there are not one, but two exterior access lockers as well. One in the bedroom and uh, one up front. You've got loose fit carpeting that looks very neat and precise. And the reason for that is that they're actually secured by Velcro pads. So they're guaranteed to stay in place. And if you do decide to have the carpet lifted, I have to say that the floor covering underneath is uncommonly attractive. You have a fitted JVC stereo radio that's got all the connectivity you could probably wish for. You've got the digital radio as well as CD, Bluetooth and uh, USB connections. Plenty of light coming in through this lovely big picture window at the front, plus three extra sunroofs as well. So all in all, it really is a, a good place to be day and night. This is the reason why people buy this caravan. This is the best-selling layout in the best-selling Bailey. Twin single beds even outstrips the demand for uh, fixed double beds these days. And uh, these ones are great examples of the breed. They're both very long and they're extremely comfortable, erring on the side of firmness perhaps, but certainly from my point of view, that makes them exceedingly comfortable for a good night's sleep. Each occupant has their own window, reading light with the USB sockets attached for charging. And there's also a main socket up on this near side wall for uh, television. The room closes off from the rest of the caravan, courtesy of a concertina blind that slides across. And in the morning, if you want to let the, uh, the sun in without letting the world know that you're uh, awake, there's a nice big sunroof directly overhead for you to do that. It's uh, actually hard to imagine what more you could want. In common with just about every other caravan manufacturer these days, Bailey describes its uh, ensuite end washroom as boutique. Well, I won't use that phrase, but it's a smart little facility with the uh, very de rigueur, uh, freestanding style sculpted basin. It's actually very roomy. It's very well lit. There are uh, three lights in total. Plenty of storage as well. It includes a pull-out laundry basket that you can uh, take out and just use it as a normal cupboard if you wish to. So it's a, a very nice facility that I think if you're in the market for uh, an ensuite end washroom, you'll, uh, you'll like this one well enough. Well, regular followers of my reviews will know that I do like a good kitchen in a caravan, and so it is, I like this one. I like it a lot. I think full marks do Bailey for uh, being very clever. A good example of that is uh, this here. This is actually the hob, which as you can see, is uh, flush fitting with the rest of the work surface, so that when you're preparing something a bit more elaborate, you can use this entire surface here as your uh, preparation area. Underneath, you'll see that the hob has the electric hot plate to go with the three gas rings, and in concert with the fitted microwave and the separate grill and oven, you're totally covered cooking-wise. The uh, Slimline built-in fridge opposite looks very nice, and it's very practical too, and it has a big freezer compartment that's actually removable. Plenty of storage space, big cupboards overhead, nice range of drawers and cupboard at floor level. And we do like as well the fact that the, all the opening drawers and lockers are soft clothes. So it's a 
10 out of 10 kitchen. The mood lighting on board has been done really well with a bank of LEDs that run the entire length of the caravan on either side. And a neat trick on uh, this one is that there's also a couple of strips that illuminate underneath the kitchen worktop and the hob, all independently uh, switchable so that you can dial in the ambience that uh, you want. Of more practical use are the four reading lamps in the lounge to go with the two in the bedroom. And if you need a little bit of extra oomph in the lounge, then you have uh, two flush fitting lights with the big picture window. And interestingly, if you're uh, staying on a, a, say a, a rally field, for example, or a, a CL without any uh, mains hookup, there's a solar panel mounted on the ceiling, which will uh, give you a little bit more leeway with your lighting when you're away from uh, hookup for a while. Well, given that Bailey's uh, lavished so much standard equipment on the new Cadiz, the fact that its MTPLM comes in at comfortably under 1500 kilograms, which is uh, you know, reasonable for a caravan of this stature, is altogether commendable. And you have some reinforcements to call on as well. You have the expected hitch stabiliser and the ATC electronic traction control that you would expect. And indoors, all the heavy kitchen stuff, the cooker, the microwave, the fridge, is all more or less bang on over the axle. The only thing to bear in mind is that it's not an entirely generous payload with uh, this caravan. It's probably fine if there are only two of you, but it's a four berth tourer. And if you're bringing along a full complement, then you may need to be a bit careful about what you load into it. But if you get the match right, you should be able to tow very comfortably in a car caravan, which I think is one of the star new additions on the 2018 roster. It's uh, very smart, very stylish, very practical, lavishly equipped, and I don't see any reason at all why it can't continue being a bestseller.